hello i'm sages mike and welcome to another video what do we have here we have pl tool right here which is a qualcomm and mtk integrated tool and the tool works just perfect that's the reason why i'm sharing this tool with you guys out here so just go right down to my video description you will see the whatsapp channel link to download the tool from the whatsapp channel so once you download the tool follow my steps on how to install the tool because I will show you how to install the tool and how to use the tool as well. So once you download the tool, just head on to the website and open and open the tool, then follow the installation uh, guide from me right here. So all you have to do, double click on the plexe file and wait for it to open. So right here, I'm going to minimize this. So in this step, you can decide which directory in which you want to install the, the tool in. So in case you have a particular a folder in which you are installing your tools in, make sure that you select the folder by clicking browse right here. But I'm going to leave it to the default location. So click next and uh, this option. So don't forget to create the desktop shortcut right here to easily launch the tool anytime so follow my steps and install the tool and i will uh, then show you how the tool operates you understand so give it a few seconds to finish installing right here doesn't take much time just a few seconds okay great so once the tool is done installing just uh, select the launch tool right there click on finish when you click on finish, just give it a few seconds to launch the tool automatically. Okay, so right here, when you open, as soon as you open the tool, you can see the interface is quite simple. So the first option, you will have the Qualcomm Flash, which right here you can flash Qualcomm devices and you can as well bypass FRP in Samsung in Qualcomm mobile phones using the flash file. You understand so these options right here you can use them when you have load the, the, the qualcomm flash file right here which you have to put your device in the uh, 90008 mode right here which is the qualcomm flash mode edl mode you understand so it is not a big deal this is just for flashing and to unlock using the flashing file right here okay so if you come down to qualcomm option right here this is where everything gets interesting. You can see that we have Oppo, we have Vivo, we have Huawei right here. And as you can see, the phone needs to be in EDL mode. And if you click on this drop down right here, you can see all the phones that you can unlock. You can see all the Oppo phones that you can unlock using this store right here. And if you go to Vivo right here, and you can see all the Vivo models in which you can unlock. And if you come to Huawei right here, you can see all the Huawei models that you can unlock right here. So how can you do the unlocking? You just come right here and select the model in which you want to unlock. In case you want to unlock just a screen lock, you click on user log right here. In case you want to unlock FRP, click on FRP right here. So as you can see, it says waiting for EDL mode. For EDL mode so which means that your phone needs to be connected to EDL mode before you click right here you understand so when you select the model right here make sure that you connect your phone to EDL mode and in case you don't know how to connect a particular phone to EDL mode just go to YouTube search on how to get that phone particular phone into EDL mode because some phones will need a test point before the phone can get into EDL mode meanwhile some phones you can get into EDL mode by pressing, uh, combining some buttons and connecting the USB cable. So in case you are confused, just go to YouTube, search on how to get into EDL mode in the particular device in which you want to unlock. So the, the, the other models right here uses the same method to, to, to unlock right here. So the Huawei and the Vivo, you are just going to use the same method with Oppo right here. So you can see it's quite easy. So here comes the MTK option, which is the media take. So right here, you can see that you can select what you actually want to do right here. So if you want to save format this save format actually means you can format the phone you can unlock the phone without resetting 
the, the, the user data inside the phone which means that you can unlock the phone without formatting the user data so that's not guaranteed you understand so if you are trying that you should try that on your own rigs you know knowing that it can work it can work without wiping the data and it cannot work it can, still cannot work so even the official tools even uh, uh, bigger tools always uh, do this either they wipe off the data at times or they do the unlocking so if you are trying that you should try that on your own rigs you understand so you just have to select if it's a google account select if it's a samsung frp which means that the Samsung phone that uses a MediaTek CPU, you can select if it's a Xiaomi account, which is a, a Xiaomi mobile phone that uses a MediaTek CPU, you can do that. You can unlock and relock bootloader as well, bypass authenticator right there. So if you select any option, for example, if you select FRP, blah, 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 you can have, a, you can see the start option right here. So once you click on it, it will start right here and all that you have to do you have to connect your phone in flash mode you understand you have to connect your phone in flash mode and once you connect the phone in flash mode the tool will automatically detect your phone so I'm going to explain that you have nothing to worry about so if you come down right here you can see that we have a, a couple of models immediate models right here in which you can bypass we have uh, oppo right here and if you click on the drop down you can see the the uh, oppo phones that you can bypass so what i want you to understand right here is that these models that you are seeing right here are not the only oppo phones that you can bypass so you can see right here it says all oppo new so it can bypass a lot of recent oppo mobile phones right here not just the ones that you see right here so if you have any one you can give it a try right here and when it comes to vivo you can see it has a lot of options it doesn't actually show the models it just shows the option so you can give it a try so the tool is working quite well so in case you want to flash a qualcomm or unlock a Qualcomm device, make sure you install Qualcomm drivers. In case you want to unlock a MediaTek device, make sure you install uh, MTK drivers. You understand? So in case you want to unlock a, a Techno phone, you just click on it, bypass FRP, click right here. In case you want to save format, this save format option is very important. It's very important, so it also uh, save the user data but formats the phone so again i don't guarantee that you are it it's actually going to work in all cases you understand but this say format right here will actually format the phone uh, delay the the user log inside the phone without wiping off the the phone's data you understand so in case you want to wipe everything like there is user data right here you can use this option in case you want to save format you can use this option as you can see everything is quite simple and if you come to adb right here okay that option is not yet available so the tool is still updating let's you updating some options so you can start using the tool right here so you can see fastboot devices if you connect the phone in fastboot you can uh, you can read the phone's information the phone's information in fastboot you can reboot the device you can reboot the phone from fastboot to edl mode so you can view vivo information right here and you can bypass frp in fastboot as well so if you come to samsung right here you can see that you, you can read information enable adb new method and remove frp so you can this option right here is actually an mtp option which means that the samsung needs to be on in normal mode in case you want to bypass frp just switch on the samsung phone connect it and uh, click on scan port right here from there you can see right here you can enable adb new method by first trying the old method if it doesn't work try the new method right here so we have the mtk flash right here you can load the scattered file which is the firmware right here and uh, select in if you just want to download only or you want to format all and download or you want to just firmware update you select any of that then click on right here then press and hold the volume up or the volume down of the phone then connect your usb cable in some phones 
you need to press both the volume up and the volume down at the same time so keep in mind the phone needs to be off so you just click flash right here I haven't selected it so let me show you what I'm talking about right here instead media take option right here and uh, you select any option right here let's say we want to bypass FROP which is Google account lock right there just click on it so when you use this option it automatically works for any brand you understand so either it's a Oppo, Vivo it can work right here so there is no need selecting any other thing right here except this option which you will need the, the you will need the scattered file to use this other option right here so if it's not about using the scattered file then better use this option forget about this one right here forget about selecting the model so once you use this option it will automatically unlock the phone once the cpu is supported by this model it doesn't matter the brand so you don't have to select the brand so you just select the option in which you want right here click on start so when you hit start right there when you hit start you can see that the uh, reset frp lot so it's still at five percent give it a few seconds to to ask you to plug in that device into the tool okay so right here it says power of the phone volume up hold volume down plus volume up then connect usb cable so you can you need to press and hold the volume up and the volume down when the phone is off then connect your usb cable to the phone while the usb is connected to the pc then the tool will automatically detect the phone so from here you can see that everything is quite easy so in case you are new to my channel my name is Sages my takes and i teach on this channel about uh, how to repair mobile phones how to, to start repairing mobile phones from the base to the professional level of troubleshooting and how to unlock you understand so in case you want to learn mobile repairing or you need any of my course the basic level course to the professional level course let me know by sending me a message on whatsapp